Some of the steps in this tutorial require FTP to make changes directly to your website files. So if you don't know what FTP is, or if you don't know your FTP login information, or if you haven't downloaded FTP software, first exit this video and click on the link at the top of the page. It's critical that you familiarize yourself with FTP before you attempt to change the address of your Profoto site. The order of the steps is very important, so if you don't want anything to break your site, watch this entire video before attempting any of the steps. In our example, we have a Profoto site installed at netrivetsandbox.com slash blog. Our goal is to get the same site to appear at netrivetsandbox.com slash news. Now to do that, we need to do two things. One, tell WordPress that the address is different. And two, change the name of the folder where our site resides on our server. The first step is to log in to your site's admin area and go to Settings General. Here, you're going to change both your WordPress and site URLs to reflect the new subdirectory name. As soon as you begin making changes to these URLs, you'll notice a scary red message that gives you a warning regarding changes made here. If you don't know what you're doing with FTP, then you should be scared, and you should click on the tutorial link. If you've watched this video and you are comfortable with FTP, then you can ignore the warning. After you make these changes, click Save Changes on the bottom of that page. As soon as you do that, you'll be kicked out of your admin area and taken to a 404 Not Found page that starts making you kind of nervous. But don't worry, that is supposed to happen. Now that you've changed the address that WordPress uses for your site, step two is to change the name of the WordPress installation folder on your server. To do this, log in to your FTP program and navigate to your WordPress installation folder. For my FTP program, I'm using Cyberduck, which is a free program we recommend that works really well for both Windows and Mac. In this example, the folder our WordPress files are in is called blog. The folder you are looking for will be titled whatever comes after the .com in your site URL. Another way to confirm that the folder contains your WordPress installation is the presence of a bunch of files and folders that all start with WP. Now once you find the right folder, click on the name of the folder, enter the new name, now in our case, news, and then press return. Now, go back to your browser and make sure that the new address is working. There, we've done it. Our Profoto site address has changed from netrivetsandbox.com slash blog to netrivetsandbox.com slash news. However, since we have changed the URL of our site, we want to make sure that all the internal links in our site, called permalinks, are working correctly. If your permalink structure is set to default, now there's nothing to worry about. If your post page links end in question mark, p equals, and then a number, then you know you're using default permalinks. But many users have set up a custom permalink structure to make the URLs look cleaner, and we really recommend this. If you have done this, there's a system file that ensures that all your internal links work correctly. Occasionally, this file doesn't update properly, resulting in all of the internal links in your Profoto site leading to 404 not found pages. If you were using a custom permalink structure, 
you want to make sure that the required system file is set up properly. To do that, just go to Settings, Permalinks, and click the Save Changes button. This should regenerate the required system file and get things working. If your internal links to posts and pages work fine now, you know you're all set. If the links are still not working, then it could be that your server was unable to automatically update that configuration file. If that's the case, follow the troubleshooting steps at the end of the text version of this tutorial. If your links are still not working, which is very, very uncommon, change back to the default permalink structure in Settings Permalinks and contact your host for help. Finally, we highly advise that you set up a 301 wildcard redirect with your host immediately after following these steps. Contact them and they'll know exactly what you're talking about. What this does is ensure that all incoming links to content at your former address will be redirected to the corresponding new address that you've established. Without this redirect, any previously existing links from social media sites or other blogs and websites would take viewers to a 404 not found page. Well, congratulations. Your blog address has changed, your new links are now working, and your old incoming links are preserved as well.